Tony D and Little Jones asleep on the couch, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Nefarious, a horror movie about a prisoner who may be possessed by a demon. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy horror in South Jersey. It's the Piney. Speaking of devils, uh, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So it's a little vague, but this guy has to go in and talk to a prisoner who's being executed to prove he's not crazy. Otherwise, they can't execute him. I don't think that's how the law works, but I uh, maybe in a movie. But so he has to go in there and prove he's sane. He claims he's possessed by a demon that has made him do terrible things. Um, who is this actor? Kind of reminds me of Stephen Dorff, but I, not him, the other guy. Um, I don't think it's him, though. And so, you know, it's a mystery wrapped in an enigma. He keeps dropping clues. Weird things happen. I mean, you could pretty much... It does look like Stephen Dorff a little. No, it's not him, though. No, nah, that can't be him. I don't think so. Um, you know, it's old serial killer back and forth thing. There's going to be a lot of scenes in this room. I'll tell you right now. Um... And then he does the whole thing where he's another character. Is he possessed? Is he not? Weird things happen in the prison. I mean, it's pretty basic, right? First act, you got to prove this guy's not crazy so we can kill him. <laughs> okay. And he goes in there and at first, he, I don't know, some weird things happen, but they're explainable. Then... Uh, over the course of the second act, they go back and forth. He gives him various clues. More weird things happen. I think he breaks his own wrist to get free to attack him. And then, I don't know what happens in the third act. Could be that he gets away April 14th and kills everybody in the prison. Could be that there's another guy. See, this guy behind him might be the demon who at the end shows himself. I don't know. It's a horror movie. Kind of low budget, so I'm thinking it could have a dark ending. The dark ending would be you see that the demon is real. Like, all the things are explainable and uh, the the other guy, I don't know if he's a cop or what. They don't really explain much in this trailer, come to think of it. But, you know, he's got the whole explanation at the end of the movie and the the, the, the final scene is he calls him out on all his BS and they've got all the clues and they're going to execute him now and then in the background the image of the demon appears and uh, you know it turns out the demon is real and now he's screwed and then cut the black credits I don't know uh, let's see what it says here on the day of his scheduled execution a convicted serial killer gets a psychiatric evaluation during which he claims he is a demon and further claims that before the time is over, the psychiatrist, he's a psychiatrist, will commit three murders of his own. I guess. I mean, I guess he must kill three people. So, I don't know. He'll kill the guy in the background, the serial killer, and then himself, maybe. That would be a way to end it. I don't know. It's a little too, I don't know, clever, the setup. Uh, a little too vague. It kind of could go in many directions. It could just be that he ends up not killing anybody. <laughs> I don't know. Or he steps on a bug and that's the third murder. Uh, I don't know. I mean, in order for that to work in a movie, he'd have to commit real murder, right? He'd have to kill three people. If he says murder, then he'd have to consciously decide to kill three different people for various reasons. But they may all be justified, right? So maybe a prison riot happens at the end in order to escape. He has to kill three of the prisoners all on his way out to escape. Someone tries to kill him, he kills them. That kind of thing. He ends up killing this guy at the end. Uh, maybe, maybe the third guy he kills is actually the serial killer. He gets to pull the switch. Maybe that's it. 
Maybe that's the clever way. Or maybe when he says he kills three guys, maybe the serial killer has three personalities? Or that he kills the serial killer, his other personality, the demon, and then one of his victims who's trapped and they don't find him in time and he dies. And so it's really him committing the murder. I don't know. Um, would I watch this movie? Yeah, this is my kind of movie. I like these kinds of setups. I don't think it'll be good. <laughs> I think there'll be good aspects to it. I don't think they could possibly have a payoff that pays that really pays off. Um, you know, it feels like there's going to be a lot of sitting around talking in this interrogation room scene. And I got to say, your serial killer guy, he doesn't seem menacing enough to me. Seems like he could have been more menacing. I don't know. I think it's the hair. Hair's kind of throwing me off in the beard. To me, serial killers, I don't know. You need more of a look. He looks a little too scruffy and disorganized to be a serial killer. Does that make any sense? I don't know. A movie serial killer. Maybe a real one in real life, but, you know, a movie one, you want to give him like a real crazy look. Uh, or you want to get a guy who's like, uh, I don't know, like the guy from The Hills Have Eyes, the bald guy with a dent in his head. You know, you know the guy I'm talking about? That guy. Yeah, like that guy's scary just on his own. Nice guy, by the way. I met him at a show. Nicest guy in the world. He's a chef. He invited me to his place out in California. I don't know if he meant it, but it was nice of him to invite. Um, so, yeah. I, you know, I'm not denigrating the actor either. Maybe he's very good in this role. Actually, he is kind of good in the transition between being the guy who's crying and being the demon. But I, I just think he has the wrong look for it. Maybe they could have, I don't know, given him a Van Dyke and made him more devilish. Slicked his hair back. I think so he was more in more control. You know what I mean? Here he just, I don't know. He just looks like he... Uh, was driving a truck six hours ago. He, he, I, I think they needed to clean him up for this. I think a serial killer would have had a, a different look or a full beard, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I get it. He's in prison. Maybe he can't doesn't have time to shave his neck, but I don't know. He looks weird. Doesn't doesn't look, doesn't look like a guy who's orchestrating a bunch of stuff. Seems to me that guy would be able to orchestrate a, a good shave. Just saying. Maybe maybe I'm picking it apart too much. I mean, it is kind of a B movie. And again, I'd probably watch the damn thing. April 14th. Is it in theaters? I forget if it said it was in theaters. It is in theaters. Would I go to the theater? I probably wouldn't go to the theater. I, I'll tell you, the, uh, it is rated R, so there'll be some crazy stuff in it. Um... Uh, I'd go to the theater. I'd probably go to the theater if it was like a Saturday and there was nothing else out and me and my friends went to see a horror movie. That that would probably be the circumstance. These days, I don't see a lot of horror movies, so it's more likely I'd watch this on VOD. I don't think it'll be in theaters long. It doesn't appear to be a big budget movie. I don't know who's going to know about this thing. You telling me this is going to get wide release? I'd be shocked if this got wide release, but there's like not one name on it that I recognize. But okay, Nefarious, April 14th. I might be there. And that's it for me, Tony D. Little Joan asleep on the couch. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. I'll be at the Westville Library tomorrow at 6 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. And then catch me at Coho Brewing in Cape May Courthouse at 7 on Thursday for this same talk, only with beer. And we'll see you 